Okay. So do you need any help at the moment, sir, in regards to your desk, where uh, you can write off, write them off? Do I need any help? What, what kind of help? Any help in regards to your desk? Well, of course, I, ha I, have a, I have a lot of debts which I need to pay, but what kind of help would you be able to offer me? Let me explain it to you quickly, Mr. Moedin. We are promoting a government program which is known as an IBA. Okay. Have you ever heard about this program? Um, no, I haven't. Let me quickly explain it to you. Again. Under this program, if you qualify, your interest and charges of your debts will be decreased down to complete zero percent. And you may also get an opportunity to write off your debts up to 50 to 60 percent by the government side. And what? as it is a government solution, so there are no setup charge or management costs, it is absolutely free of cost for you. Okay, sounds and, uh, good to you, sir? And, uh, no, it sounds good. Of course it sounds good. And for me, how, how does it work? What do I need? What do you need from my side? How can I get this help? Because I do need help. Exactly. Exactly, Mr. Moedin. All I am here is to basically explain you how this program works, what are the pros and cons of this program, and how it can be beneficial for you. That's all. Okay. And how can I get it? How do I, how do I go ahead to get it? Do I need to call someone else or...? Let me tell you, sir. All I am here is to, first of all, let me, there are other benefits of this program as well. As well. So I'm just here to explain you how exactly this program works, okay? okay? And once at the end of this conversation, sir, if you feel that this program can be something good for you, only then you can make up your mind. Otherwise, it's totally your call. Okay. Sounds good to you? Yes. Over this one phone call, you do not have to make any kind of decisions or commitments at all. Okay. Okay, but so there is a qualification criteria of this program. So may I know at this point of time that how much do you think might be outstanding on your name roughly all together? Like is it six to seven thousand, eight to ten thousand? Any rough idea? I think it's head? probably probably about seven thousand. I think. That's fine, no issues. And sir, so are you able to make any repayments towards your debts at the moment? Or are you falling behind with them? Uh, at the moment, I'm falling behind with them because obviously it's, uh, I need to try and keep up, keep up to work. And uh, I have fallen behind, but obviously if I can get some help, it will be good. That's the thing. wrong, Mr. Moedin, as you are falling behind with your repayments, so you might be receiving calls and letters from your lenders. They might be chasing you, isn't Ye it? Yes, of course, they of course. They, I'm, I'm receiving, it's, it's annoying as well. It's, I'm receiving a lot of letters. And it's, it's obviously, if, I can, if you guys can help me out with something that I don't get these letters, then it will be good for me as well. Try to help you out with these debts and let's see how best we can help you out. Okay? Because I'll try my best to qualify you for one of the best options where we can write off your debts. Okay. okay. What's your name again? And at this, at this side is Sarah. Sarah, okay. Hiya. Okay, go on. Okay. Time, Mr. Moedin, may I know, like, what do you do for a living? Like, you're working full time or self employed by any chance? Uh, I'm working, I'm working full time now. I am working full time. Full. Okay, so you're not receiving any benefits for yourself there at all? Uh, no, no benefits. I'm not receiving benefits. Okay, and may I know, sir, since how long you're falling behind with the payments? Like, a couple of months, a couple of no, months? No, no, it's, it's, only, it's only a couple of months, couple of months. But next month, I should be able to get back on track. Fine. And what about your marital status, sir? Your marriage, single, or living with a partner? I'm single. That's fine. And do you have any lovely kids or dependents under 18? Any what? Any kids or dependents under 18? Uh, no, I don't. I don't. That's fine, no issue. And I believe that at the moment you are uh, living as a council tenant, right? You are a tenant, if I'm not wrong? Uh, yes, that's right. Council tenant. So you pay the rent from your pocket itself, sir, or you get housing benefits? No, no, I have to I'll pay from my pocket. I have to pay from my pocket. From your wage itself, right? Yes, of course. No issue. And any 
Any idea, sir, roughly how much do you pay for the rent every month? Uh, the rent is uh, 600 pounds a month. Okay. Roughly. That's completely fine. No worries about that. So, Mr. Mohit, we are now talking about your debts. Where you mentioned to me you have got debts, which is somewhere around 7,000. Right, sir? Yes. So, amongst these debts, what is your major concern? Like, what kind of debts are these? Like, which is your majority lender at this point of time? Which yeah, it's, uh, most of like, them, they are payday loans. Most of the payday loans, there were some which were, I took a long time ago, which I haven't been able to pay back. But obviously, I'm paying them slowly, slowly. There's payday loans. There's another one. Okay. is um, I have a loan as well, which I took from a f good friend of mine. It, most of them are payday loans. Payday loans and a loan from a bank. But I'm trying slowly, slowly, slowly to pay them back. Okay, no issue. So if I talk about your debts, sir, one by one, okay? Do you have any credit cards outstanding, any Aqua Bankish Capital One outstanding? Uh, I have Capital, but I don't have the papers on me. I do have Capital One, and I do have Ocean's Finance, I think. Okay, that's fine, no issues. I'm just noting it down, no worries about that. You have got an Ocean One as well, yeah? Yes. That's completely fine. And any loans from Barclay, Lawyers, Tesco, which has been... Uh, no, 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 no loans like that. Just credit cards. That's fine. No issues. And you have mentioned to me that you have got payday loans as well, sir, right? Payday loans, so yes. Any idea how many payday loans you have got? Uh, I think, I think I have about four, I think. I'm guessing it's about four. Yes. Ah, uh, yes, yes, right? they, they are, they're raping me, this, they are, I'm paying very high interest. I can completely understand, sir. Yeah, it's not fair, it's not fair for people like us, because they, we need help, and then when we take it, then it's, it's not good for us. I understand, don't worry, sir. So, apart from this, uh, four payday loans and a credit card from Capital One and Ocean, do you think you might have got other debts as well? Any debts falls to the level PWP, PRA group? Any debt collectors? Which one? Oh no, I have one, I have one, I have one. I have, a, I have a one which I took a laptop long time ago. It's called... Uh, it's called These, These Nuts Computers. But I took a I took a laptop long time ago. But I'm paying I'm paying them back. I think that was one thousand two hundred. But I'm paying okay. that one. I've... That's completely fine. Okay. No issues. That's completely fine. Any catalogs or store cards outstanding? Uh no 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 catalogs or store card. That's completely fine. Any CCJ or HMRC left to pay your back sir? Any county judgment? No 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 nothing like that. Nothing at all, yeah? Any council tax, rent arrears on your previous property, any car insurance? Any, nope, nothing, know, nothing, contract? nothing like that. Okay, so you just have uh, four payday loans, roughly, and a capital one credit card, which is uh, an ocean one and a loan, that's all, right? Yes. That's completely fine, no issues. And sir, may I know the reason, like, why are you falling behind with the payments? Is this because of the cost of living? It's cost of living, it's like cost, cost of living, um, girlfriend, which we've broken up, so anyway, that doesn't matter. Cost of living, obviously, there was a period which I wasn't working, so that affected me, but obviously now I'm back working, so I've started to pay them back. I understand, I understand. So, so don't worry, sir, I can see that you're well qualified for this government option. I am, oh, wicked, thank you so much. Am I qualified? And and let me tell you one more thing, sir, that first of all, at the end of this conversation, we are going to share you all the details to your email. You can have a good look to that, consult with your friends and families, and then make up your mind. Okay. okay. All right. So just bear with me, sir, for a quick five seconds so that I can just check the criteria and assist you in a much better way. Oh, just that's bear with brilliant. Me, sir. I'm so happy. Okay. Just bear with me, sir. Uh, hello. Yeah, hello. Good afternoon, Mr. Mohideen. How are you? You okay? I'm very good, thank you. Well, this is Alan, number of a senior GS consultant. And you just spoke to my colleague in relation to few debts, and uh, she explained to me that you have some debts of around £7,000, roughly, yeah? Yes. So, 
how you're finding yourself in terms of these tests at the moment, sir? Are you comfortable struggling, juggling, how you keeping up? No, I'm struggling. Of course I'm struggling. That's why she said, she said she's going to be able to help me out. But I'm not sure if I qualify. Yeah, That's the thing. Sorry? We, we are going to help you with these tests. How? Okay. We are here to help you in regards to all these Jasmine Samohi did, so you so don't have to worry about that. I will sort everything out for you. Yeah? Oh, okay, that's brilliant. That's good news. Right. Yeah. So, how are you finding in relation to these deaths? Are you comfortable struggling, juggling, how are you keeping I'm up with I'm struggling, these of the course. It's, I have to. I'm struggling, but I have to pay them off because otherwise, it's my name that's going to be affected. If I don't pay them yeah, off, I will, it's not going to help me in the future. That's fine. And, uh, and Ms. Wooden, if I talk about these paid loans you have got, any idea where you owe this money from the paid loan, which company you owe this money to? Uh, there's a... Uh, oh, I have, to, I have to start checking my email. Um, I think there's one which is money 247. I think it's another one. Money 247, yeah? Yes, I think there's another one, it's called yeah. um, Drafty.com, I think. Drafty, yeah. Drafty.com. Yeah. And I think there's another one, it's called, uh, what is it, is it Nuts Job? Nuts Job Cash or something, I don't remember. Nuts Job? Yeah. Can you spell it out for me? It's a N E X N E X T J O B and then cash. Next job cash. Next job, yeah, that's fine. Anything else? Uh, no, no, I think that's. I don't think there's another one. Um, no, I think that's it. So that's it. I think that's it. I need to check my email. Yeah. But is this, is this gonna? Do I need to pay for this service, or or is is like a plan which I think probably I have to or something? How will you guys be able to help me? Right. So, right. The thing is, I mean, obviously we are here to promote some government solution which can help you to freeze your interest and charges right off the major portion of the debt. You don't have to pay any sort of money to me in regards to helping you. But yes, you do have to pay some portion of your debt. Ah, okay. What do I need to pay? Right. Because I don't mind doing it. Right. So. Right. The thing is, I mean, obviously, we'll put all these debts together into one single packet for you with the help of a government solution called NIVI, Individual okay. Voluntary Arrangement. Right. Okay. What, we, what, what actually happens is IVA is something which stands for Individual Voluntary Arrangement. NIVA solution is started in 1986 by the Act of Parliament on behalf of UK government. Okay. IVA is a legal agreement, a legal bond between you and your creditors where all your debts will combine into one single packet for yourself. And for that one single packet, you only have to pay one payment according to your affordability each month for six zero sixty months for five years of time. Wait, and how much is it? months of time. Sorry? How much did you say it was? Uh, right. So you have to pay one affordable monthly minimum payment each month for 60 months. 60? And after that, okay. remaining portion... Yeah. And after that, remaining portion of your debts is going to be written off and waived off by the government side. And your monthly payments will be around, let's say, £80 and £90 a month, which you can easily afford every month, okay? Oh, that's perfect. That's... Yeah. Also, you will receive a legal protection in this solution that no one is going to bother you in your personal life. Like no recovery emails and no collection calls, having a peace of mind in regards to your debts. Oh, wow. And once you will complete this solution for yourself, you're going to receive brand new fresh credit rating that no one says they've been in these deaths in the past and you will be more than welcome to take further credits if you want once again, okay? Oh, perfect. I didn't, I didn't catch your name. What was your name again? My name. My name is Alan. 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 Yeah. Oh, perfect. This is, this is going to be helpful for me. Oh, my God. Right, okay. And you don't have to decide anything only on, on a single phone call. Once you will complete the conversation, we'll dispatch everything in writing as well, so you can have a good look and then you can make up your mind, okay? Oh, you will send it to me as well, yeah? Yes, absolutely. Okay. So, first of all, I just want to ask you about these debts. I mean, you mentioned that you have three paid loans. Money, 24 into 7, right? How yes. much do you think is the total? Uh, I mean, how much is the money you owe on this loan, roughly? I think, I think that one, I think is uh, £1,500 on that one. 
Okay. What about your draft fee? Draft fee is 1,200. 1,200 on your draft fee. And what about your, the second one, last one? And I have the other one. I think it's about 3,400 pounds, I think. 3,400? Yes. On the next job, yeah? Yes. Okay. And do you also have any credit card outstanding, Mr. Mohideen? Credit card, I have uh, Ocean Finance. That one is uh, yeah. 600 pounds. Six hundred pounds, yeah. I have uh, what's what's this one called? It starts with V. Vanquis, Vanquis, Vanquis. How much is outstanding? Uh, that one, I think, is a uh, three hundred pounds. I think that one. Three hundred. Any other credit card? Uh, is there any other? No, 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 no. I don't think there is. I don't think there is. And do you have any capital one card? Oh no, I do have Capital One. Shit, sorry, yes, oh shit, sorry, sorry about my language. Uh, capital no, One, I, I think it was, um, how much was this? I think it was 250 pounds, I think. That's fine, no issues at all. Okay. Anything else you owe to any overdraft? No, I, I don't have, I don't have, over, I don't have overdraft, no overdraft. Okay, okay. Do you have any kids? Any kids? Sorry? Any kids? Do you have any kids under 18? No, 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 I don't. Okay, that's fine, no issues. And you're working full-time. Any idea how much is your income every month, roughly? Every month, I get about 1,700 after tax. After tax, okay. And what do you do for a living? What's your occupation, sir? I'm a security supervisor. Security supervisor, yeah? Yes. <laughs> Okay, yes. that's fine. That's fine. So let me tell you, um, Mr. Mohideen, what uh, basically we are actually doing here and what, how we can help you with these steps. So in regards to your current circumstances, you're qualified person for a government solution called an IVA. IVA stands for Individual Voluntary Arrangement. And this IVA solution is started in 1986 by the Act of Parliament on behalf of UK government. IVA is a legal agreement, a legal bond between you and your creditors where all these debts is going to be put together into one single packet for yourself, yeah? Brilliant. And uh, for that one single packet, Mr. Mohideen, you have to pay only one payment according to your affordability each month okay. for six zero sixty months for five years of time, yeah? Oh, perfect. 60 payments you have to pay, and after that, after 60 payments, the remaining portion of your debts is going to be written off, Amazing. waived off, which you don't have to pay, and you will be declared as a debt-free person. And when is the first payment that, gone? Sorry? When is the first payment? Your first payment will be, let's say, uh, let's say in one, uh, next, next month, not this month at all. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so you have to pay your first payment after one month of time, yeah? Okay. So you pay one payment every month for 60, pay, uh, 60 months, for six zero sixty 60 months, and after that, remaining of your debt is going to be written off. At the same time, once you will complete this auction for yourself, you're going to receive a brand new fresh credit rating that no one says you've been in these debts in the past, and you will be more than welcome to take further credits. And one more thing I would like to tell you, that till the time you are in an IBA, Mr. Mohideen, an IBA stops you to not get into more and more debts. So you, are you planning to, uh, you know, apply for some more debts, or you're not planning to apply for some more debts? Yeah, as, as of now, I'm not planning to, because I need to fix this bullshit first, before I can apply for anything else. Yes. Uh, yeah, that's perfect, no issues. And I just want to ask you, the, which bank are you banking with? Mr. Sorry? At the moment? I'm banking with... Which um, bank do you bank with? Uh, Monzo. Monzo, okay. And as I've explained to you about this IVA solution, right? And I believe that this sounds good to you. So if we will help you with these debts, Mr. Mohideen, and you have to pay only one payment every month according to your affordability, any idea how much you can easily afford every month after all your expenses and expenditures? I can, I can, afford, I can afford to pay £60 a month. Like what, what you said, it shouldn't be a problem at all. It shouldn't be a problem. £60. Pounds. Yeah, £60. Pounds. No, not £60. Pounds, 90, uh, £80 pounds a month is the minimum payment I can do. Oh, the 80 Yeah, the eight, No, 80 is fine. I can do 80 80 is fine. 80 is fine for you. That's completely fine. It's more than no issues. And when have you took out these debts? When have you took out these loans for yourself, sir? When did so I like take them out? It was a long, or... ti long time ago. It was How a long old time ago. Are? Huh? How old these debts are? Oosh. 
maybe two years, three years. Uh, are they still chasing you? Are they still sending you letters and emails? They're sending me, they even contacting my girlfriend. I don't know how. They're calling my Sorry? girlfriend. They're calling my girlfriend as well. I don't know how they got their numbers for my girlfriend. They're contacting me, emails, letters, calling my girlfriend. And for me, I'm getting scared because I think they might go to my job and maybe it's going to affect my job. No, no issues. Don't worry. We'll definitely get everything solved for you by today itself. So they will not chase you anymore, okay? Don't worry. Okay. All right. Now, there is a few things I need to confirm. Is just for the data protection, Mr. Mohitin, that your first name is Abbas which is Alpha Bravo Bravo Alpha Sierra, and the last name is Mohitin, which is Mike Oscar Hotel, Indigo Delta Delta Indigo November, yeah? Yes. And the best way to contact is the phone number, which is 0771722355, yeah? Yes, that's correct. All right, and just for the data protection, sir, can you please confirm me your first line of address and your postcode for me, please? You guys, you guys, you love to scam people, don't you? Huh? Sorry? You love to scam people, don't you? Where are you calling me from? How did you get my number? Mr. Moedin, I'm calling you from a credit investigation department. No, you're not. No, you're not. You think, you think I'm stupid? Firm which by FCA Do you think I'm stupid? Do you think I'm stupid? Get off my land, man. You scammers. Scammers. You're not getting shit from me, mate.